Hey guys, it's Alicia. Now today I am doing my very first what's for dinner video. I thought this would be fun to do because my husband and I have just recently started back up with Weight Watchers and I thought I would show you some of the Weight Watcher friendly meals that we eat in a week. Any of these meals that I've already done a video on, I will have a link down below and you can find all the ingredients, instructions, and the points for all three plans, the green, blue, and purple, in the description box on those videos. So first up is shepherd's pie. Now this is just a lightened up version of your traditional shepherd's pie. And I love having this this time of year. So here I'm adding a pound of ground turkey and one medium chopped onion to my pan that I've got at medium high heat. And I'm gonna just cook this until my turkey is browned and my onion is softened. Now I didn't use any oil in the pan this time. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. It actually worked out just fine though, not using any. And while I've got that turkey browning, I've also got some potatoes over here steaming. And I'm gonna just steam these until they are fork tender. Now that my turkey is browned and my onions are softened, I'm gonna add a little bit of minced garlic in there and I'm gonna just stir this all together and let that continue to cook for about a minute or so. And now that the garlic's cooked for about a minute, I'm gonna add in a little bit of thyme and a little bit of crushed rosemary and some fresh ground pepper. Now you can salt this if you want also, but we kind of watch our salt intake, so I don't ever salt it. Plus this has chicken broth in it, which has quite a bit of sodium in that all by itself. So like I said, we don't usually do any extra salt in this, but definitely do if um, that is what you wanna do. So here I'm just stirring this all together. And now I'm going to add a little bit of flour to this. And I'm gonna stir that together and just let that kind of cook for a minute or two. Now I'm gonna add in my chicken broth and I'm going to also turn my heat up a little bit because I wanna get this coming to a simmer. And when it comes to a simmer, I'm going to just continue to let it simmer until that mixture starts to thicken up a little bit. I'm also going to occasionally stir this while it's simmering because I don't want it getting burnt to the bottom of the pan. Now that this has thickened up a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and add in some frozen mixed veggies. Give that a good stir. Turn down the heat and then just let this continue to sit while I finish up with my potatoes. And here my potatoes are fork tender, or in that case, knife tender. So they are ready to go. So the potato part is really pretty simple. I just add a little bit of a light margarine to these, as well as a little bit of fat-free Greek yogurt. And then I just mash them up really well. And then here I am gonna add a little bit of salt, even though we don't normally add salt to things. I'm gonna add it to the potatoes cause they just do not work otherwise. So add a little bit of salt in there and now I'm gonna just mash these up until they are as smooth as I can get them. I've got a nine by nine pan here that I sprayed with a little cooking spray and I'm gonna just pour in my meat mixture. And then I'm gonna spread my mashed potatoes on top of it. And this is a little tricky they don't go on there the best, but uh, I just smooth them on there the best that I can. And now I bake this at 350 for 30 minutes. And here is what it looks like when it's done. And that is also a serving size of this. My whole family loves this stuff. It is just really, really good and really pretty easy. Next up is one of my favorite things to make lately. Um, and actually my family likes it too. Well, not so much my children, to be honest, but my husband and I really love this and it's very easy to make and it is egg roll in a bowl. And basically you're gonna start out with a pound of ground turkey and you will notice 
in my recipes, I use a lot of ground turkey. That's just kind of my preferred meat at the moment. And so I use a lot of it. So you're going to start out with a pound of that and I pepper it a little bit. You can salt it if you want, but again, we don't use a whole lot of salt, so I don't salt it. And you're gonna just cook this on medium high heat until that turkey is browned. Once that turkey's browned, I add a little garlic in there and a little bit of minced fresh ginger. And then I just stir this up and let that cook for probably about a minute or two. Then I add in some soy sauce. And a little bit of sesame oil. And then I just mix this all together. So now I add in the coleslaw and I've got a 32 ounce bag here as you can see. And when I first started making this, I was only using I think about four cups, maybe a little bit more. That's what I have in my recipe. Um, I am now using the entire bag. So I will start out with about half the bag and I'll just stir that around and try to get that knocked down a little bit. And cabbage really, really shrinks up when you cook it. So this starts to shrink down pretty quick. And then I will add in the second half of the bag and cook that down. And like I said, I just started adding more and more of this to it because I like to have a whole lot of veggies in my recipes just because that just adds more bulk that is point free for Weight Watchers and low in calories. Once that cabbage is cooked down to the point where I'm not spilling it all over the place, although you can see I've definitely spilled some, I add in my green onions and then I just stir this all up and let this continue to cook until the cabbage has cooked down and softened enough to where I like it. And here's what it looks like when it's done. Now, like I said before, this has been recently one of my favorite things to eat. I make this all the time and I just think it is really filling and just really tasty too. And it comes together in minutes and it is very low in Weight Watcher points. It's also very low in carbs if you're somebody that's counting carbs. So I just love this dish and like I said, I make it all the time. So this meal is one that I do when I'm in a hurry and I just want to throw something together really quick. And that is tilapia. I love this stuff. I get it at Sam's. It's not only good for you, but it just tastes really, really good too. And definitely fits into Weight Watchers. It comes in these nice little individually wrapped packs. And I usually do three of them at a time because my husband and I are normally the only ones that eat this. I like to use foil to line my pan because that just makes my cleanup so much easier. And so I'll take a piece of foil and then I will just press it into my pan. And at cleanup time, I just pull that out, throw it out, and I've still got a nice clean pan. So now I'm just taking a little bit of olive oil and I'm gonna spritz the foil there so that my fish doesn't stick. And then I'm gonna put my fish in here and I have um, taken this out, obviously, of the little packages, rinsed it with some cool water, and now I'm just placing it in here. And then I'm going to spritz a little bit of olive oil on top. And now I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. You can use fresh if you have it, or lime. But I always have that stuff on hand. So I put a little bit of that on there and I'm gonna put a little lemon pepper. I love lemon pepper, especially for fish. So putting some of that on there, as well as a little Mrs. Dash, because again, we try to go as low sodium as possible. So that stuff works pretty well. And then followed up with a little bit of granulated garlic. And I love my garlic too. And then you're gonna just cook this at 425 for about 15 minutes. And then while my fish is baking, I'm gonna go ahead and saute up some peppers and onions. And I'm gonna just start with a little bit of olive oil here. I'm gonna get that heated up in the pan. And then once that's nice and hot, I'm going to add in my 
peppers and onions. Now I had some extra bell peppers left and so I didn't want them to go to waste. So I figured they would make a nice little side to this fish. So I'm just gonna put them in here and I'm going to just cook them until they are nice and soft. I'm also gonna add a little fresh ground pepper to these because I love pepper. I put it on a lot of different things. And then a little bit of salt. And like I said, I don't usually use a lot of salt, but I feel like these need it. So put a little salt on there and I'm gonna just continue to cook them. My fish is almost done and my veggies are almost done there. So now I'm gonna take one of these ready rice that only takes 90 seconds to cook. And there is the nutritional information. Um, these are good. They come in handy, like I said, um, when you're just trying to throw something together real quick. And the points aren't too bad on these. They're not the best, but they're not too bad. So I'm gonna pop that in the microwave and then my dinner will be done. And here is our dinner. Now this is my husband's plate. I gave him two of the three pieces of fish and about half of that rice and about half of the veggies. And this was a really, really satisfying meal. This is one or one very similar um, that I will do a lot. Just a, a meat like the fish here and then a veggie and then a side. And it's just really quick, easy, but tasty and filling. Next up is Mexican quinoa. Now I love quinoa. I love using it in a lot of different dishes. And this is one of my favorites probably. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of olive oil in a large pan here that I've got on medium high heat. And there is more turkey or ground turkey. Um, like I said, I love using ground turkey. I don't always use this much, but this week I did. And the recipe video that I did on this, I believe I used ground beef because that was back before I was using so much turkey. So here I am adding a little fresh ground pepper. You could add salt if you wanted, but I didn't. And then here I'm adding in some onion. And I'm gonna just cook this until the onion is softened and the turkey is browned. So now that my turkey is browned, I'm gonna add in a little bit of garlic and I'm going to just let this cook for about a minute or two. After that garlic's cooked for about a minute or two, I'm gonna go ahead and add in some chicken broth and diced tomatoes and black beans. And these beans did not want to come out of this can. Um, actually, the better way to do this is to probably rinse your black beans. I'm kind of lazy and I never do that. So, um, but you definitely can rinse those and probably should. Um, there is a can of corn and some rinsed and drained quinoa. And now I'm gonna add in a bell pepper and a little bit of jalapeno. And I'm gonna just mix this up real well. And now I'm gonna add a little ground cumin in here. And I'm also going to add a little chili powder. Now this time I didn't use as much as I normally do and I could tell a difference. So um, that's all according to taste, but I will definitely use more next time. So now what I'm gonna do is stir this all up, let it come to a simmer, and then I'm gonna turn the heat down and just let it kinda of do its thing until that quinoa has absorbed all the moisture and is cooked. And that's about 20 minutes. And here is a serving of that dished up. Now I like to add a little bit of avocado to this, and I also like to add some fat-free Greek yogurt it tastes just like sour cream, so that's usually what I use anymore, is the fat-free Greek yogurt instead of sour cream. And those two things added to it just really, really add a lot to this. I would also say that you're probably gonna wanna add salt to this, either when you're adding your other seasonings to taste or just to your individual servings. Like I said before, we try to cut down on our salt, but I actually did add salt to this myself. My husband didn't, but I think it needed it and it really brought out the flavors a little bit better. But yeah, this is really good stuff. So that was what we had for dinner this week, following the Weight Watcher plan. 
Now some of these lasted more than just one night, so that's why there's only four meals, which is pretty typical. But if you wanna see any more of these, please let me know down in the comments below and I will definitely do them. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.